Hello, hello dear viewers, welcome to our channel, it's very good to have you here. In today's video we are going to have a look at how to inspect operation of a relay. There are different types of relays, the most common ones are the 4 point type, the 4 pin type relay and the 5 pin type relay. These are the most common ones available on vehicles. So we will be having a look at how to inspect operation of a relay. Well, relays are electromagnetic switches that will operate a high current circuit with a small current. With a small control current connected to the electromagnetic switch, we can control a large amount of current passing to the load through the switch circuit. Now, in order to do that, we have four terminals. For example, on this particular relay, we have four terminals. Terminal 85 and Terminal 86, they are designated right in here. Terminal 85 and Terminal 86 are the electromagnetic switch circuit. Terminal 30 and Terminal 87 are the normally open switch circuit. When Terminal 85 and 86 are electromagnetically energized, that will activate the contact point between 87 and 30. Then only then we will have continuity between terminal 87 and 30. But when it comes to a 5-point type relay, we have an additional terminal called 87A. 87, 87A, 30, 86, and 85 are the terminals that are available on a 5-point relay. On these five point relays, we have the control circuit. For example, for this particular relay, terminal 85 and 86, these two are the control. And terminal 30 has a normally closed continuity with terminal 87A, and it will have a normally open circuit with 87. So when the electromagnetic coil is energized, terminal 30 will have continuity with terminal 87. When there is no electromagnetic energization, Terminal 30 has continuity with Terminal 87A. So these are the most common types of relays that are available. Even though the shape and construction mechanism is different, but relays, they all serve the same purpose. They electromagnetically turn on and off a high current circuit by using a small current circuit. Now let's go to in detail. How can we inspect this relay to see if it is functional or not? Now there are different methods of checking operation of a relay. We are going to have a look at some of them. One of them is by using voltage, by simply connecting the relay to an electric source, a battery source, we can check. In order to do that, first check if the diode is diode protected or not. If it is diode protected, then terminal 85 and 86 will have definitely one direction of connection. If it is not diode protected, then there is no need of worrying about which polarity 85, 86 is connected to. And the other thing, once you have identified if it is diode protected or not, the next thing is to check the operating voltage of the relay. Automotive relays, for example, for small vehicles, it is a 12 volt relay. This one is, for example, it's a 12 volt relay. There are relays with 24 volt operating voltage. And also there are small relays with 5 volt operation. So for this particular case, we are using a 12 volt relay. Now, the easy method on a vehicle is to simply swap. If you suspect this, and then you have a similar, this kind of relay, then you can swap and see if it is functional. That is a very easy method of checking op operation of a relay if you have a suspicion of the operation. So all you have to do is swap with a good known relay. Now, this is a little bit risky when you are working on a vehicle, because if there is some electrical circuit problem, and that might damage the new relay as you put it in. Well, the best way to check operation of a relay is by using a multimeter. Grab a multimeter, put it on ohms reading. For example, this is on 200 ohms. Put it on ohms reading and then check the resistance of the electromagnetic circuit. For this particular relay, this is terminal 85 and this is terminal 86. So we are going to read ohms reading between terminal 85 and 86. As you can see, it is reading 68 ohms. It's a very good relay. It indicates that this is a correct reading. If you get somewhere between 50 and 120 ohm for this type of relay, 
you are good to go. So the electromagnetic coil can be checked. Similarly, check continuity between the switch circuits, line 87 and 30. 87 and 30 at this particular instant should be infinity resistance. As you can see, there is no resistance, it is infinity. So the switch pins, terminal 87 and 30, they should read an open circuit ohm reading, which is infinity. Then the second method of checking relay is by energizing the coil. As I've previously mentioned, 85 and 86 are the control circuits. So simply connect volt voltage to terminal 85 and 86. Then when you connect immediately, you should hear a clicking sound. That is when the switch is energized, you should hear a clicking sound. As it is getting disconnected, you should hear the discontinuity click sound as well. So the second method of checking the relay is by using battery voltage. Now we have here 12 volt positive and 12 volt negative. Now check the polarity if it is a diode protected type. For this particular relay, it is not diode protected, so polarity should not be an issue. Connect the positive to one terminal and the negative to the other. You should hear a click. As I connect, I hear a click. As I let go, you should hear a click as well. So this is the second method of checking the relay by simply powering it up. Now the electromagnetic coil is activating as you can see. Now this is not an only check. With still energized, we should find continuity between terminal 30 and terminal 87 as well. Let's do that checking. Now let's energize. Look at the voltmeter reading. It's reading 0 0.4, which is nearly zero. When I let go, it will become infinity. When I connect it, it is reading zero ohm. So this indicates that when the relay is energized, the switch circuit, the switch pins are also properly functioning. So this is the second method of checking. By simply using a battery supply, you can check operation of the relay. The other method of checking operation of the relay is by connecting load to the terminal the switch circuit. Let's simply use this light, for example, by simply connecting light bulb to terminal 30 and 87 circuit, then we can check if the relay is functional or not. Let's do the connection and check. Now the connection is done. I have connected a, a light bulb to the terminal 87 and uh, 30 circuit, which is the load circuit. Now, by simply controlling terminal 85 ground by this cable, by simply controlling terminal 85 ground like so, I can control the entire circuit. Look. So when terminal 85 is grounded, the light should come on. So by simply connecting a test light to terminal 30 and 87 circuit, which is a switch pin circuit, we can check operation of the relay. So as I ground terminal 85, light will be turned on. So this is another method of checking operation of the relay. All we did is we connected the load to the switch circuit, we connected a light bulb to the switch circuit, and then we used this as a switch to control the light switch. So this way you can check operation of the relay. So this is how you can check operation of a relay. 
So we have looked at three methods. The first method is by simply replacing with a known relay, swap it with a known relay. That is one method, but it's a risky method. The second method is by using multimeter resistance test. We have checked continuity between the electromagnetic coil circuit and we have also checked continuity between the switch circuit, 30 and 87 circuit. And finally, we have used load by simply connecting a test light. You can also check operation of the relay. So these are the simple methods of testing operation of a relay. Same procedure can be done for a 5-pin type relay. The only difference is that whenever there is no electricity supplied to the relay, Terminal 30 will have continuity with Terminal 87A. Otherwise, it will not have continuity. When it is energized, it will have continuity with Terminal 87. Terminal 85 and 86 will remain the same. They will remain the electromagnetic circuit. So, dear viewers, this is all we have for you in this presentation. We hope you have enjoyed how to test a relay. And uh, this is how you can simply check relay operation. If you like this video, please smash the like button. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Share it with friends and families. And uh, we'll see you in another video. Till then, stay safe.